everybody, welcome back to Falcon Plays RimWorld. Today we're going to be doing Expansion Day. What I mean by Expansion Day is let me actually get this going on. We have the uh, last set of the Lego pieces over here getting built. Um, we're going to need those to power up our batteries, which are not doing that hot. But I'm pretty sure that building those will pretty much get them up and running pretty fine. But other than that, what I meant by Expansion Day is we're going to be pretty much mining into uncharted terrain over here. Which, you know, after we mine this and the bottom portion out and we've pretty much started over here... We're pretty much done, meaning we got to start thinking about things to do out here, like ways to expand outside. And um, I'm thinking about probably assuming there is no new build coming out too soon. We could probably start expanding the base outwards, making maybe a little like watchtower, quote unquote type of thing, you know, like just something like imaginary, like, you know probably have like a geothermal out there that we defend, you know, something like that. Uh, there's been, um, a commenter telling me about um, this other idea, by the way, which I want to share with you guys, which I'm, I'm really interested in doing, by the way. He mentioned um, an idea where I either choose, I, I make a colony with either one person or three people, and I try to sustain the colony with just either one or three people. No more additions. Well, that's basically it. Uh, basically, he says that, like, you know, what you do is you kind of pick goals for yourself, like, you know, reach so-and-so amount of silver, reach so-and-so amount of food, reach so-and-so amount of metal. But essentially, you do it with only three people at the most. Just basically your three starting people. Yeah, I mean, like, I figure you could capture people that come around and, you know, sell them off and stuff like that. Or, you know, if it comes down to, like, you know, eat them. <laughs> you know, cannibalism and whatnot. But I thought that was a really good idea. So, um, if you guys want to let me know how you feel about that, like, it probably wouldn't be a main series, like, an everyday RimWorld type of thing. But it is something that I wouldn't mind doing on occasion, you know, like, maybe, like, you know, every two or three days, like, release an episode like that. Where it's just basically me trying to survive RimWorld with as minimal things as possible, meaning, like, you know, less people. So, uh, obviously you would have to kind of rely a bit more on turds that way. Maybe even blasting charges. I don't I mean, I don't want to use blasting charges, but I'd imagine that blasting charges would probably have a bit more, uh, I guess, uh, importance in that type of situation, unless, you know, because I know that raids kind of come down depending on how many people you have, so I'd imagine that only having three people would kind of dumb them down a bit, but at the same time, remember that raids do increase by how much time you're out there. Um, you know, surviving and whatnot. That's the reason why our rates are so huge. We have such a huge colony, number one, and number two, we've been out here surviving for quite a while now. Speaking of survival, um, we need another turret. Uh, I feel that we're going to need another turret in order to survive. And um, let's see, we have four right now, right? And we have two over here, one over here in the middle. I'm going to build one, like, right about here, I'm going to say. Uh, that seems good. And... Basically, I think that our weakest side, oddly enough, is the bottom over here. Now, it seems kind of foolish considering that when people do die, they kind of die somewhere up here. But I feel that the bottom portion isn't helping the top portion enough. That's the reason why. So I'm going to build this turret down here, and hopefully it'll kind of help us out a bit. Um, we do have a lot of weapons that we haven't picked up because, uh, as you can see, well, we're completely packed to the gill over here. Like, we have absolutely no room anymore for weapons. Uh, speaking of weapons, I made this for metal bars, correct? Uh, no, I haven't. So let's make this metal bars as well. And let's see here. How are we doing with this? Well, let me get rid of the small weapons thing. And we're going to do configure this for forever. And yeah, do that right there. That is going to be a priority bill right there. And I have two people at least smelting that was going to be swag. And I believe that one of the newer people that we got is also going to be... Oh, yeah, Tubers. Tubers going to be doing... Or <laughs> Tubers, Tubes. I love that name, man. It always cracks me up. What do we have over here? Trade ship is passing nearby. Finally, combat supplier. We haven't run into one of these in quite a fucking while. Um, Who is our warden now? Or our main... Oh, Rose the Evangelist, obviously. Um, Let's see. Let's not play this game, Rose. Where are you? There you go. All right, Rose. Go and uh, do some fancy talking with me now. I've been waiting for a trade ship for one reason, and hopefully it happens right now. Yes! This means more people getting added to the colony a lot more faster. What I did is I tweaked around with the mod myself. I apologize for the background noise, my birds are going crazy. Um, I, I basically modded, I t messed around with the settings of the mod a bit, and I made it so that 
combat suppliers and, you know, industrial slaters, you know, sell people as well. I mean, fuck it. We barely get any combat, uh, any slave traders, so, you know, screw that, man. So right there we got Vladimir. Vladimir Putin. Vladimir, why are you being such a dick right now in the world? I mean, I'm just an American scumbag pig. What do I know? But, you know, it feels like so many people are against Vladimir Putin right now. It's like, sure, he's standing for his morals and beliefs, probably, but just stop it, Vladimir. Uh, he's manual dumb, yeah, and he's an herb world criminal and an herb world politician. Well, Vladimir Putin, how uh, convenient, right? So you're not going to do any manual labor at all. And you're kind of an eh shooter, but I'm going to buy you just in case. Uh, I kudos to whoever gets renamed after Vladimir Putin, by the way. Over here we got Jimmy Lander, a pickpocket, a business gangster. Why would Vladimir Putin come along with Jimmy Lander, a well-known gangster? You know, I'm just throwing it out there. I'm not suggesting anything, but, you know, if it sounds like a duck and it looks like a duck, it might be a duck. Um, shooting five melee eight. Sure, let's buy this guy as well. Um, and weapons, let's, uh, please, finally sell some fucking weapons. So, it's about time that we get rid of some of these things, man. Um, we have so many weapons, uh, just whatever. I don't even get shit at this point. Just give me room. Just <laughs> give me room. I have so many goddamn weapons. Go away, yeah, go away, everybody. 263, oh, goddamn it. Alright, go away, laser gun, laser pistol, and 116 left. Sell that, and, uh, 30... 31, I don't think I could deal with that. Unless, oh, they do have a bit of metal, so let me take that off of your hands, guys. And that's about it, right? Okay. And, uh, 223. I mean, I could sell Colt and Laser Pistol. And what do I have left? 345? Okay, it's still Laser Gun. Oh, I'm buying, no! Falcon, you moron! That's fine, guys, don't worry. Uh, it's a way to give them more money, I think. All top cocktail. Oh, 55. You gotta be shitting me right now, right? What do I have that's less than 55? Like a Glock of some kind? I gotta have a Glock somewhere, right? There's no way I don't have a Glock. Colt, Colt Police? That'll do. Colt Police, I said. Fuck off. Alright, there you go. Okay, so we got some silver and we got two new recruits, wherever they might be. Vladimir the Politician. There you are. That's a nice set of hair you got there on you, Vladimir Putin. Um, well, let's give you a weapon, I suppose, and since that's all you're gonna do. So, let's give you the, the fucking R4 charge rifle. Why not? <laughs> I'm gonna trust you with that, Vladimir. Don't leave me down, so let me put you as a one and a one. Now, you're, you're manual dumb. You can't do shit, though, so... <laughs> what does it even matter if I put you as fours? I guess I'll put you as a one as a warden. Might as well. Uh, Lander the Gangster. Oh, God. Another terrible person. Hauling one. Uh... Sure, mining three. You're in three. Let's make this like a two. Cooking, yeah, whatever, man. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm not too crazy about these recruits, but you know what? Um, I'll learn to love them. Uh, I'm like a, you know, a disappointed parent. You know, oh, Jimmy, you didn't get into college? Oh, well, you tried. I, you know, I guess I still love you somewhat. Not as much as before. It's not as strong as it was once, but, you know. You know, <laughs> am I talking personal experience? Of course not, my parents. Love the uh, grown individual I grew up to be. Very mature. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I tried my best. You know what, guys? Had you not drank away my college tuition, I would have probably had a better chance at life. I'm just saying, if you're going to be throwing stones at the next, uh, you know, Christmas party, mom. I <laughs> know, uh, I... I kid you. I assure you that they don't have any drinking problems that I'm aware of. At least not anymore. I mean, they, they've gotten, they've corrected that. Either way, um, it does seem like we're finally charging battery power, which is really amazing. How is our mining situation going on? Pretty good. We're not finding any metal down here, which I'm kind of a little disappointed about. Not too disappointed, but a little bit. Um, there's some metal up here, though, if I ever really needed. The really reason we're kind of doing this is just to kind of start opening this area up. And I'm not still entirely sure what to build with this. So how about, this would probably be the last episode that I record today. Which is, uh, what day is it today? I don't even know what days are what nowadays. Let's say the 20th, 21, 22. It can't be more than the 22nd, I don't think. Uh, solar flare, of course. How convenient. So let's say, uh, as of the time, well, let me look at the map here. Or not the map, but the calendar. 
What's today? Monday? Today's either the 24th or the 17th. I don't even know what's what anymore. All of my life just kind of blends together these days. Um, let's say the 24th. That, that makes sense. Let's say the 24th. So today's the 24th. What do you guys want me to do down here? And vice versa. What do you want me to do over here? I'm going to do... Actually, not over here. I'm going to build a few more um, bunkers over... Well, not bunkers, but rooms over here. But then over here, we need something to kind of uh, placate this whole situation. Oh, we found metal finally. It's about time. So uh, I need an idea. So either guys, uh, anybody wants to throw something out there, let me know. We'll mess around over here. Um, I've liked how everything else has come out, though. Sure, there's a few areas here and there that I haven't carpeted up like this. But that's because I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do over here. This I do want to make, like, rooms going down still. So that's still in the plans for sure. As well as Vladimir and um, his gangster friend <laughs> being renamed. That's also in the works as well. Goddamn solar flare. Well, how about we start working on, I don't know, maybe making some meals, I guess? I mean, we have all the free time in the world now. It seems that this is one of those episodes where the Raiders are going to leave us alone finally. So I shouldn't complain. And if anything, I should do some little cooking stove. So how about, well, we actually need to go kill some animals first so <laughs> um muffalo where are you at there you're down over here okay well who wants to go hunting is a real question and let's see well um funky and Nathan, you guys uh you guys seem like you'll work out so you guys come down over here i'm only picking you guys because you were there so nathan and funky you're gonna be my resident hunters for now hey look at that a geyser um, let's see, so Nathan. Oh, Nathan, you even have a weapon. Nathan, why don't you have a weapon? Were you knocked out? Oh, god damn it, Nathan. Alright, Nathan, go and get yourself a... I don't even know. What do you... What do you... What should we get for you, Nathan? What are, what are you feeling? Are you feeling this MP5? Sure, why not? Guinea is a good shooter, no questions asked. Guinea, you come over here, then. Alrighty, I'm funky. You're, you're good, you have a weapon. Alright, start firing at this muffalo. Alright, that muffalo never even knew what hit him. There you go. Get get closer, Funky. And uh, fire over here. And then Guinea. Don't be shy, man. Get in, get in here, too. Get some firing going on on these mufflos. And uh, let's make sure that this is being hauled off. Okay. Haul this off. Haul this off. You know, in a way... Um, you know, I, had, I do have the target practice mod. Since it is downtime, I could be having my people train. But... That would also imply that I, you know, actually think ahead and actually plan things accordingly and not just work on instinct, which, you know, I normally do. Reason why things turn up so bad for me most of the time in game. But, um, you know, whatever. <laughs> this will be my target practice in a sense. Fire at this muffalo. Funky, what do you got over here? Fire at this guy. Him too's gonna do with some... Somebody hauling, it seems. Good. Good on you. So, let's get this out of the way. Get this out of the way. This muffalo is completely red for some reason. He's just either really angry or he's upset that he's the last one of his kind. And Guinea, you are being shot, so let you let me have you move out of the way there. Okay. Now we could do the same with the Well, we could do the same with the squirrels, but I'll just leave it at B for now. So you guys run off. Uh you you must be, I guess, tired of uh killing and having a good time. Well, I mean not not that killing is fun, or I'm not placating the fact that you should go kill, but you know, I'm I'm pretty sure that rather than over here mining off the wheel in the mines all day, they're over here like you know hunting, having a good time. New area's been revealed. Oh, that's a uh, one of those geyser areas. That's pretty cool. Not sure what I do with a geyser in here. I mean, I guess guys, whatever you decide for me to do with this area, be sure to include a geyser in your plans because obviously we're gonna <laughs> have to fit a geyser in there now. No reason not to since there. It's like free power. Take advantage of it, right? Um, okay. Oh, so the bill is good to go, it seems. Butcher, uh, butcher creature, yeah, yeah. So we need to do that forever. And, uh, no human corpses, though. But just muffalo, squirrel, and boom rat. All good. And this is gonna be corpses, right? And we're doing muffalo, squirrel, boom rat. Good, good, good. And let's make, yeah, important's good. Alright, there you go. Now, um, we want that to stay there and not be put over here because otherwise it's going to be cooked. We don't want that cooked because we need uh, to make some meals over here. So in order for that to happen, we're going to have to uh, make the storage a, uh, a vegetarian one, please, if you may. So no meat. And same with this guy. 
Uh, no meat. Vegetarian. And vegetarian. No meat. Oddly enough, that's the uh, same thing that uh, my ex-girlfriend would say whenever I want to, you know, propose intercourse. <laughs> vegetarian. No meat, Falcon. And be like, oh, well... That certainly puts a damper in our night, doesn't it, baby? Uh, let's see. So over here is going to be... Well, this is where the meals are going to go, right? If I do believe... Yeah, meals. And over here is supposed to be... Oh, okay. So the thing is that we don't have an area for the actual um, raw meat. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. I wish I was more mature, but I'm really not. So there's going to be an area for raw meat itself, and I believe that's going to have to be with... Uh... Foods, right? Raw, right, right. So turn, we'll leave that on, but meals off. We're gonna put uh, meat raw and make this important. All right, there you go. Perfect, so it's going right there. And then, what the hell is all that noise? That was the weirdest noise of all time. All right, good. So uh, raw meat is being placed right there. Uh, muffalos are, you know, need to be carried out. Are we going to pick up these muffalo guys? Maybe? Perhaps? It'd be good if you did. I mean, it'd be quite swell, as a matter of fact. I guess they're dealing with the weapons first and foremost. I guess that makes sense. Uh, can't really deny that. So, meals. Uh, we do have cooks, I do believe. So, let's add a bill. And we're going to do a... Uh, well, we need to make sure that our cook is of the highest priority here. So, cooking. We got this guy who's a 3 out of 10. Not really that impressive. So, who is my main cook? Okay, here we go. Bro kick the chef, obviously. No question about that. 4 out of 10. Key the chef, 4 out of 10. Uh, they could be better, but okay, that'll do. And mark the drone. Let's make you a 3 on this, buddy. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a bill for cooking fine meals, sir, if you don't mind. Forever. Well, yeah, I guess forever now. And then we'll do like a 32 and... Well, I mean, you're going to have to use both of them, right? Cooking seven is the minimum for this, so... Um... Is that really what uh, my dudes have? Well... Not Rose, but who was I looking for? I was looking for my cooks. Uh, chef and bro... God damn it. Bro kick? Okay, let me check you out really quickly here. Character traits, cooking... Nine, yeah, yeah, you're, you're set, man. <laughs> you are definitely set for that. Okay. So now, we're going to have uh, some cooking going on over here, hopefully. And where is... Uh, here's gonna where my food's going to go right here, right? Oh, there we go. So he's putting meat right there, and then he's going to take some vegetarians and uh, put them right there. And oh yeah, Bro Kick is going to make some lavish meals. So we're only doing this because we actually have the option to do it now. Just because, other than that, we're kind of just chilling. You've detected... Oh, nice. Another person for us to join? Hodges. Hodges, what are you doing over there, man? A housemate? <laughs> Yeah, I got your housemate right here. Incapable of caring and social. Okay, well. Sounds like my ex-wife. I was going to say ex-wife for some reason. I haven't been married. I just feel like I should have an ex-wife. Like, you're just like a really bitter person. We're just kind of like, oh, incapable of caring and social. Hey, it sounds like my ex-wife. And then everybody just kind of laughs and, you know, everybody's like, oh, Falcon. You know, I watch way too much television, I think. It's the problem here. <laughs> Okay, uh, tubers, uh, tubes, let me have you, I said tubes, not pubes, let me have you go and capture the housemate Hodges, there's gonna be another person for us to rename, so cool, this episode alone, three people to rename, that's always good, and we haven't had any, um, raiders, which, I don't want to jinx it, but I'm really happy about that, just because, you know, the raiders kind of bug the hell out of me at this point, they're not even doing much, I mean, sure, they've killed a few of my people, I mean, if you want to get technical, but, <laughs> uh, they're just really there to annoy the piss out of me at this point. I just kind of want to like hang out, you know, live my society calmly, attentively. And they're just over here just busting my balls all the time, you know? It's kind of like, hey, what are you doing over there? It's kind of like, uh, I'm trying to live, Raiders, if you don't mind. And you're like, oh, okay, cool, we're going to come and ruin your uh, happy life. Speaking of happy life, look at this lavish meals thing going on over here. Now, the only thing I hate about meals is that they expire. So I'm not entirely ever sure how many to make. And by the way, guys, if this over here is pretty much cooked, why don't you eat out of here instead of eating out of the nutrient paste dispenser? You're kind of ruining the purpose of my uh, cooked meals over here. Uh, unless, you know, um, maybe I should make the cooked meals down over here. 
I guess I'll do that. Like, uh, let's do a stockpile area down over here, right? Of, um, cooked meals, maybe? No, no, how about... I got an idea. Um, well, no. We can't do metal at this point. We, we... Oh, wait, we don't have stone, though. So, never mind. We do have to do metal at this point. Uh, let's do it, uh, this way. Bring this, like, so... Like, so... Okay. And then... Oh, it's not even even. Son of a bitch. It's gotta be even, Falcon. Otherwise, it's just, no, you know, no rules in society. There you go. Even now. And we're gonna put a door right there. And then, check it out. What we're gonna do with this area is we're gonna make this a little bit of a meal area, essentially. So let's make a stockpile right here. What do you want, Red Letter? Raiders, oh, of course. Come and bust my balls, even though we're having a good time right now. Um... Okay, meals, boom, and we're gonna make this a fucking important priority, put meals there. And then this over here could kind of go F itself, if you ask me. So, let's move this out of the way and make this raw, ah, raw veggies, I suppose, will work out for me. And we'll make this norm. Okay, there you go. And what is going on with this? Holy shit, man. Okay, nobody come and pick up these muffalo. FYI, just <laughs> throwing it out there. Forget the muffalo, guys. Uh, they are not important to us right now. Because, um, you know, apparently a small nation of Israel is over here trying to, you know, knock us down, it seems. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's call it an episode here today. And I hate doing this because now I'm going to forget next time I record and be like, Oh, there's a raid. Uh-oh. But either way, you guys let me know what you want done over here. Which, by the way, we're done mining, so good on that. We're going to do some cooking. We're going to do some weapon smelting. So we're going to start doing a few more things as a pastime now, as we just kind of wait and expand. But three people to rename, so that's always good. So either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you next time.